Welcome back to The Healthy Kitchen. I have got two recipes today that are all about hydration that because they use two veggies that are so, so juicy and full of water and you're gonna love it, I think. Anyway, I'm being silly. So, uh, jicama. How many people have had jicama before? This is half of a giant jicama. If you can get a jicama that's smaller than this, when you go to the regular grocery store, they have them, yes, they do. Um, it's easier to cut. They. I went on the day, yesterday was the day of large jicama because this is one of the smallest ones and this is just half, y'all see? I wanted to show you what it looks like on the inside. It kind of looks like a potato. So it's somewhere the, uh, between the taste of a potato and an apple. Um, I cut it in half and this much jicama, which is probably a couple cups more plus more, came from just half of this jicama and um, a half of the half of the jicama. <laughs> so I cut it fairly small. It's, uh, it's a gnarly vegetable to look at. It's not very pretty. And it's also got this waxy finish on it and they keep, put the waxy finish on so that the jicama lasts longer because it won't last long if it didn't have that waxy finish. So you're gonna need a good peeler. And I like the one with all the little grippy um, tongs, little grippy fingers um, in this inside to use for the jicama. But the jicama is so wonderful in texture and it's got so much good hydration for us you're gonna to wanna to make this salad. So um, so a couple cups of jicama, maybe a little bit more. And then the other thing that I used, of course, that's all full of water is cucumber. And so this is just a regular, what they call a burpee cucumber. I actually did some research on cucumbers recently and found that those wonderful uh, English cucumbers or hothouse cucumbers, they actually don't hold up as well in dressings like the ones we're gonna put on our salad. So um, this is the perfect place to use your garden cucumbers, and I've left the skin on. If you're gonna leave the skin on something, um, you do probably wanna buy organic if you can, or if you know where your cucumber comes from, that's great too. And so I left the skin on, and I've got about the same amount of cucumber as I do jicama. And of course, I took the seeds out of the middle of the cucumber just with a spoon, just running my spoon down the middle. And then what did I put my cucumber seeds in? My veg stock bag. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is actually make a salad dressing. And this salad dressing is easy and a little bit different, but I think you'll love it. Um, first up, I'm gonna put in, I just have about a tablespoon of coarsely chopped onion here. You don't wanna put a big hunk in your food processor because it'll have a hard time getting incorporated with everything, but we want a little bit of onion flavor. And I used a white onion here, or not white, but a yellow onion, and you could even use a sweet onion here since it is Vidalia season. Um, just a tablespoon, so just for the flavor. And then I've got a couple teaspoons of our favorite smoked paprika. Then I'm gonna put in some liquid ingredients, including a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, and this apple cider vinegar had the mother in it, um, and we've talked about that before. Um, honey, so this is actually local honey, and I did put, see how nicely it's coming out there? I did put a little bit of oil in my measuring cup before I did the two tablespoons of honey. So look how easily and nicely it's just kind of coming out of that measuring cup. That's the secret to getting sticky things out of measuring cups. And then I have about a tablespoon of um, avocado oil. You could use grapeseed oil. I'm just using a very neutral oil because I don't want a lot of flavor in that. I just want a little bit of oil to kind of incorporate everything in the dressing. Of course, we love our freshly ground black pepper. And um, this is actually a pepper mix. So I've got pink, white, and black in there, but you can use whatever kind of pepper you like, just as long as you're grinding it. So there we go. And then last but not least, I am gonna put just a little bit of salt in here. And this really needs to be done in the food processor because you wanna incorporate that onion flavor with the chopped onion, and everything is gonna get really, really emulsified in the food processor. So here I go, it's not gonna take long. 
and it's gonna be such a glorious color. I'm gonna do it on high now. With that smoked paprika, so it's gonna be so pretty um, with the kikama and cucumber bud. All right, so let me see if it is fully incorporated now. And it looks like it almost is. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Now I'm going to taste it and see if it needs any more salt and pepper. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's a little spicy from the smoked paprika, and it's got a little kick from the vinegar. Um, but it's not overwhelming and it's not oily tasting because we only put a little bit of um, avocado oil in there. So I'm going to move this aside so you can see what I'm going to do next with a couple more of my ingredients. So I'm going to go ahead and put my jicama and cucumber in my bowl. Here we go. So when you cut your both your jicama, your cucumber, almost, well, any veggie, you want to make sure that you cut it so it's flat on the board when you're cutting it so it doesn't rock and roll and you don't hurt yourself. Okay, now I'm going to put in, I have about a quarter cup of uh, slivered almonds that I toasted. Remember, we like to toast all of our nuts because we want them to be more flavorful. So there's, there's three ingredients in there, the jicama, the cucumber, the toasted almonds, and then I'm going to put in a couple tablespoons of one of the um, herbs that I love so much and I don't think we use enough and that is mint. So this is fresh mint and it's all gonna go in there and I'm gonna just move that around a little bit before I put our beautiful dressing in. When I say beautiful, I mean it. Look at this color, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna just hold, actually I'm gonna take that out so I don't. Are you gonna have more dressing than you'll need for this salad? So remember that the, the thing with dressing is to drizzle, not drench. And I used about half of the dressing. It'll keep great in the fridge for four or five days and you can use it on any kind of salad. I love this dressing on freshly sliced tomatoes and cucumbers. You can actually add a little bit of mint to that too. Oop, got another little piece of uh, jicama that I missed out on cutting well. Okay, so look at this y'all. It is gonna be fresh and clean tasting. It's gonna be so hydrating. You can keep this in your fridge for three or four days. Um, the almonds are not gonna be as crunchy after the first day as it will the, uh, on the very first day you do it, but they'll still be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this into my bowl. I'm trying to get all of my yummy dressing out there. So there we go, and I was a little messy. There we go, all right. So this is the jicama and cucumber salad with the smoked paprika dressing. Take a look at this, don't you wanna dig in? I wish you were here so I could share some with you. Super hydrating, great for the summer, it keeps in the fridge for three or four days, Perked in a pita pocket too. Um, use the leftover dressing on any kind of salad, especially sliced tomatoes. As summer rolls on, we get those beautiful, big, juicy, ripe tomatoes. This salad dressing is great on it. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. Come join us again at the Thomas F. Chapman Family Cancer Wellness Center to make healthy recipes that are delicious. I'm Nancy Waldeck. Cheers to the next healthy recipe.